Hi, my name is Susan. I'm 61 years old and I have Lynch syndrome. Um, my sister had breast cancer and then she had endometrial cancer and because of the family history when she was talking to her consultant he thought that it would be a good idea to get her bio a biopsy done and to get tested for what he thought might be Lynch syndrome. She told me that she had Lynch syndrome and then I was referred to a geneticist um, to talk over whether or not I wanted to take the test, which I, I did. I found out that I had Lynch syndrome. I think I knew that I had Lynch syndrome. Obviously my sister had had it and I, and I really thought that I, I'd had it because I'd had endometrial cancer and she'd had the same, that I was pretty certain that I was I would had it. I mean, if there'd been a possibility of having a test for Lynch syndrome, it would have been easy for my sister. She would have known straight away or she could have been tested. Um, so she didn't have to go through what, what she'd been through as well. It gives you the option of knowing that if you have a particular problems or something is different to what it normally is, you can take yourself off straight away to the doctors and say, I have Lynch syndrome. I need this checking out now. Uh, both my son and my daughter were tested for Lynch syndrome and both tested positive. Because you tend to feel very guilty, even though there's nothing you can do about it, you still feel guilty that you've passed it on to them. I wasn't with my son, he, he wanted to go and get his results in the hospital independently, he didn't want anybody with him. Whereas I went with my daughter and we were both there at the time when she was told. That was quite distressing. Yeah, I, I think if you are diagnosed with endometrial cancer, you should be offered the test for Lynch syndrome so that you and your family know what is going to happen and how you can care for each other and support each other with it.